Hello guys, welcome back to Dad Duty Gaming. We've been busy working on our boat over here. It's gonna be powered by six Landium engines and just kind of ignore some of the positioning of the uh, recharger. I'm gonna move that soon. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how I gathered up all the dust for those and uh, also the iron because they kind of go hand in hand. But it all starts with charcoal and nails, believe it or not. So when you break down nails, you get one piece of metal per. I'm gonna show you guys here quick. Starting off with nine iron ingots. Not a whole lot. Bam. Craft those up. We have our potion of uh, Instacraft going on. Uh, gonna have to take another one here in just a sec. But we break these down and we get 90 metal shards, right? Those can be used to make 18 ingots bam 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 just like that we just doubled our iron but that's not good enough oh that's what we ran out um so we say okay so we got infinite iron that's cool and all but iron isn't dust iron isn't gonna make my boat go to that i would say you are correct but what will is after we take this iron we're going to turn it into a paint gun which we have one crafted up already. I'll show you guys that real quick. Paint gun takes 10 ingots, five cogwheels, and a couple steel tubes. When you break it down though, it gives you a landium dust. Five, so not a whole lot, but it's enough to get the propeller thing right away. And you do that half a dozen times, and you got enough to uh, get going on couple of the boat things. Really, I think I've probably done this. It's dozens, plural. But until they take it out, which I'm sure they will because it's horribly unbalanced, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take advantage of this. Um, I was hoping that the, um, the mutated creatures would respawn similar to the, um, the wild ones, but they don't seem to. So until they um, kind of implement that, this is the only way to get infinite Elandium on multiplayer. And well, infinite anywhere, but it's going to be really handy on multiplayer servers where all the stuff may have already been taken out and you have no other options other than to kind of do this cheaty method. Um, now for the cog wheels, we do need... Um, coal. But, as I'm sure you probably all know, you can just burn wood in the uh, kiln and you get charcoal. Charcoal works the exact same and you can have an infinite supply of it. So using those couple of methods, you have infinite Islandium. Hope that helped you out guys and don't like the video because right now the channel is pretty small. It might fly under the radar. I don't know if it will be patched in uh, the point seven update coming out, but this will definitely be patched soon. So take advantage of it while you can. Get yourself stocked up and good luck. Have fun out there.